This is created in a blender, I think using geometry node. So can we do that in Houdini in simple way? Let's see what's happened. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome back and absolutely my pleasure. Okay, let's begin. You see, I saw this amazing, simple yet charming uh, simulation. You see, this is a moon and flower and by amazing artists created in Blender. I think in Geometry Node, using Geometry Node. So I said to myself, let's do that in Houdini. As you can see, I have th this sphere and these two boxes, simple using bullet solver uh, and a bounce parameter. And yeah, with time scale uh, set to two. And this is simple uh, simulation, right? It's simple. So I want to keep it simple, honestly. So uh, the first thought in my head was create a color node. Let's create a color node and transfer that to the geometry. For example, a uh, red one for the sphere. And let's create a transfer attribute, easy. And let's connect that to the second input. And of course, we have uh, this CD and this threshold. And as you can see, I need more resolution. I want to use a remesh uh, node, as you can see. So we have a transfer uh, uh, a color in, in, into boxes, in, on the boxes, sorry. So I want to use that. For example, I uh, can create, uh, for example, a copy node. And of course, I can plug that in here. I, I want to use uh, the box. I want to simplify the idea instead of the flower uh, for now. But yeah, before that, uh, let me, yeah, let me disconnect that. And I want to create a delete soft in here. And I want to delete the rest of the geometry. I want to uh, keep the red one. And as you can see, I want to use uh, point and expression and based on CD color I can use this expression and voila we have our geometry now we can copy the point and for example we can use a scatter instead the whole point and yeah this is our boxes and let's see what's happened in here okay it's not bad <laughs> Not bad, honestly. We can do better than that. Uh, for example, for the jittering, I can uh, delete the delete node uh, because of that. We have the jittering, and I want to manipulate the p scale. You see, the p scale it's responsible for the scale of the instance. So I want to, uh, for example, instead of CD or color, I want to create a custom attribute called, for example. GRT. I don't know any attribute. Just make sure to be float and point and have a, a value for one, for example. And I want to transfer that instead of the color. And as you can see, we have GRT uh, attribute. So now I want to filter the P scale based on this attribute. You see, I want to use multiply and this uh, remap, as you can see, you see, the jittering is gone. Amazing, you see that? Cool, simple, right? And of course, you can uh, make the instance uh, more by uh, scattering option, sorry, scattering parameter, and you can randomize the rotation, the orient, and uh, for component, blah, 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 this is easy, or make uh, some randomization with the P scale, multiply that as you can see. This is simple stuff for uh, getting, getting a cool simulation as you can see. You see, it's not bad. It's simple idea. So, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Share it if you want. That will be amazing. So far, so good, I guess, but we need some modification for example as you can see in this simulation we have this transition uh, based on the distance you see the scale it's fading out so how we can do that 
I guess, I don't know, let me see, can I do distance from geometry? This is amazing note. Uh, instead of uh, attribute transform, I will, I will use this distance from geometry. You see, I want to uh, calculate the distance from the sphere. You see, we have this amazing attribute with these fade in fade out value uh, instead of the constant value. So now I want to uh, adjust the attribute float. And as you can see, I want to multiply that and remap that based on the distance. You see? You see, amazing. We have an uh, awesome uh, fa fade out, uh, fade in, sorry, uh, value. And we're going to use that as a P scale. That's awesome. Okay, this is with the P scale. And I, I, I want to uh, adjust, as you can see, just this value. Okay, we need the inverted version of that. This is amazing. As you can see, it's short, but not there yet. And as you can see, I want to invert that based on uh, the distance. So I want to use the remap option. And as you can see, I want to invert this curve. And let me see. Okay. This is awesome. You see that? You can uh, adjust the value here. Okay. Cool. Now we have our instance with the fade in, fade out. Uh, scale you see this is better honestly instead of uh, the boxes now I have this amazing flower uh, downloaded in from sketchfab and I have this simple texture and yeah I want to replace that uh, with the box and as you can see <laughs> before that make sure to enable pack instance otherwise your PC will explode <laughs> believe me and yeah, we have this amazing flower and we can, of course, manipulate uh, the randomization of the direction. For example, you see, yeah, see, simple approach yet effective, right? This is Houdini 20. It's getting simple, I must admit. So th this was uh, controlling the, the scale, unify scale of the uh, geometry. So what if I have this simple growth controlled by this parameter, as you can see, you see, I have parameter, I have a simple growth controlled by this parameter and I want to, uh, I want to control this parameter based on the P scale or the distance. You see, for example, this one, I want 100% of growth, the flower, and this is the uh, grass in here. You see how we can do that. So for example, we cannot do a P scale on this parameter or back then we had a copy stamp attribute on uh, copy sub and now you see we don't have that now how we can do that on my patreon we managed to do that as you can see you see we have this amazing growth in this area as you can see we have the grass only and if the ball it's near of that area it will have uh, the flower you see and this is before and after. As you can see, the second one, it's more efficient and more believable. And of course, the project file, it's available on my Patreon too. And big shout out for these amazing, awesome people. Thank you guys. I appreciate it and have fun with our content. See you on my Patreon. Goodbye.